Tonight at 10, just two weeks after taking office, Rishi Sunak suffers his first cabinet resignation. Sir Gavin Williamson has faced growing claims of misconduct, including bullying and harassment of colleagues and officials. Sir Gavin, seen here on the left, was appointed to the cabinet despite the Prime Minister being aware of some of the complaints made against him. All that means just two weeks into office, serious questions for Rishi Sunak about his judgment. Yes, we'll have uh, the latest from Westminster, where two investigations into Sir Gavin's conduct are already underway. Also tonight, in Qatar, a senior football ambassador says that homosexuality is damage in the mind and that visitors to the World Cup will have to respect the country's laws. The fight for power in the US Congress as Trump and Biden rally the party troops for the midterm elections. Ding dong, you're not wrong. And Leslie Phillips, best known for his roles in the Carry On films, has died at the age of 98. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, a losing start for Britain in the Billie Jean King Cup in their opener with Kazakhstan. It means they could face an early exit in Glasgow. Good evening. It's taken just two weeks to prompt the first cabinet resignation of Rishi Sunak's premiership. A short while ago, Sir Gavin Williamson resigned as a senior minister following days of allegations about his conduct. He said he aimed to clear his name of any wrongdoing. Downing Street was already investigating accusations of bullying and harassment. And uh, Sir Gavin has also been reported to the parliamentary authorities over allegedly abusive messages to a Conservative colleague. Earlier today, Downing Street insisted that the Prime Minister had full confidence in Sir Gavin. But Rishi Sunak, who promised a government of integrity and accountability, now faces more questions about his decision to appoint Gavin Williamson in the first place. Our political correspondent, Damien Grammaticus, has the latest. 